Hello and what's up YouTube, Brother G here, once again, well finally actually, playing Minecraft. Now you're probably wondering, where the heck am I? Well this is a bit of a... Anyway... With the stars and the moon. Turn around to just normal. I want to see the sky. But it does look like the water. What the? <sighs> Darn it. On, do I have clouds on? No, they're off, like always. Server textures? What the heck is that? Uh. Just full screen mode? Have I not been playing in full screen this entire time that I've done Minecraft? <sighs> nah, I'm being stupid now. Anyway, guys, this is a project I'm working on. I will explain it probably in another episode right now. I am going to rant, okay? And what am I probably ranting about? I can rant about a lot of things right now. A lot of things. I can rant about my computer. I can rant about. I can rant about a ton of stuff. But right now, no. Right now, what I want to rant about is. Uh, what the? I'm gonna call this the eco rant. All right. Basically, the state that in which the economy is in right now. That is what I want to rant about. Because some people out there are real douchebags, you know that? It's in miscellaneous or decorations. What is wool into? Oh no, it's in building blocks, even though it should be in decoration. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna write about the economy. And you know, some of you are going like, what? Why? Because some people are real jerks. I'm just gonna put that out there. Like, honestly, aka parents who yell at their kids for not having a job and calling them lazy. Like, no offense, it's something I don't want to hear any parent who has a job yelling at their kids about. Because right now, you do not know what type of crappy state the economy is in and what your kid is dealing with. Because, no offense, I saw this post on, like, a. Uh, it was a college website, even though I don't agree with college websites because colleges are bullcrap. Not gonna lie, complete other bullcrap in what they say to get students to come to their school. Whatever, this was the truth right now. It said that um, during this day and age, there is a difference between what an employer is looking for in terms of knowledge and what a possible employee has in terms of knowledge. And I'm gonna agree with that. But now I was trying to, like, um, you know, I'll definitely agree with that part right there. There is definitely there's a difference between what the employee is looking for and what the employee can offer. Because, you know, in this day and age, it's, like, different because, like, of the economy. Because, um... I mean, I have a bit too much lag, so I'm gonna go with the settings. I don't know what's going on with my world, but I'm gonna change this short, and everything just disappeared. And I don't know, did that? Well, didn't really raise my frames for a second, but um, yeah, going back to my rant. There's like a humongous difference between what a person might know nowadays and what an employer wants them to know. And the problem is with that is because employees don't want to train their employees. They want to come in already knowing how to sell something. But the problem is, this is a different time period. Like, nobody just goes up ready to sell. Most people shop online. We don't go to stores anymore. So we don't see actual salesperson like we do back in the day. So, like, when you're going to get a new jobs, employees like recognizing that. And they're like, 
oh, well, you need some type of experience. If you go to a retail store, like, say, back in the day when everybody used to go to stores, you would know, like, what a seller looks like. The person who sold you something is a good seller, right? Or a salesman. Yeah, salesman. Well, that would make sense. However, like, nowadays, I've got to make this a lot bigger. Should I make the sword first? Yeah, I think I should do that. I should make the sword first, and then make the frame around it. I need some flint and steel. Let me... But yeah, so nowadays, it's like, people just don't know how to sell. Thought I heard something. People don't know how to sell because it's not a skill like we learn in school. Nobody learns to sell in school. You know, people should be teaching that, but they don't. And it's like employees are just expecting, like, their employers are just expecting their employees to know this. But who's going to know this? It's not a skill that's taught. And now some might say, oh, go to college. Well, college don't teach you how to be a salesman. A college job is to pay you for high paying jobs, not minimum wage jobs. So that's something, even though colleges should be teaching. It's how to actually sell something, you know. Just in case you can't find, like, a high-paying job like you intended to when you went to college, but be able to get a job, at least. You know, that would only make sense. Just saying. But, yeah. Anyway, like I was saying, back to the parents. Like, any parent out there who believes your child is, like, lazy is not looking for a job, is afraid to get work, you you need to get punched in the face, alright? I'm just going to say it like this. Because there's no such thing as a child being too lazy to look for work. Every person out there right now is looking for a job, okay? There's millions among millions who are unemployed in this nation. And if you really have the gall to say that your kid is lazy, your kid's afraid to find work, and your kid doesn't want to work, you deserve to get punched in the face so hard your teeth comes flying out because that's simply not the case everybody's looking for work not just teenagers we got grown people we got people who should be retiring looking for work everybody's looking for it and we're just doing everything we can to find it yet nobody wants to offer it it's like this mystical thing it's like where are all the blasted jobs and now, for all the parents out there saying, like, oh, kids nowadays are just lazy, they're scared to find a job. First of all, we're not the one who ruined the economy. We're not the one who put it in the state and nobody wants to hire. Okay? We're not the one who did this. I mean, while we was in school, don't worry what, you parents out there who saying your child's are lazy, was too lazy to vote, and then you let somebody just come in, ruin the economy, and guess what? Now your kid has to pay for it because you was too afraid to do something or you was too lazy to do it. Alright, so any parents who said their kids is like afraid to get a job, we're not afraid. It's just that I'm just gonna say like we're depressed, okay? Because no offense, when I went out there looking for a job, oh my gosh. Because one, getting a job's changed, okay? For those of you saying like why do kids spend too much, so much time in their room instead of going out there looking for a job? Cause that's not how you do it anymore. Nobody takes a paper application anymore. They take um, an online application. It means you got to do this all digital now, so it's already in the system, and they don't have somebody just putting in the system because they want to get rid of that person's job. All right? So that's why your child is probably not leaving the room. That's not how you do it nowadays. You've got to go online and do that. And, like, this is something parents don't understand. They just think, like, you're supposed to just go up, leave your house, look for work. No, it doesn't work like that. You got to do everything online, all right? And to, like, um, anybody who has a parent right now that's actually just doing that to them, saying, oh, you're lazy, you're not looking for work, you're just sitting in your room, you're doing nothing. Like, go, like, here's what you can do. Like, if you know your parent's email address, instead of using your email address, when they say, on the digital application, put in your email address, use your parent e um, email address. So when they send you that confirmation, like, okay, you filled out an application, it goes directly to your parent so they can see it. Then afterwards, when they send you that rejection, 
you know, some 60 to 90 days later, because, you know, nobody looked at your application. So, 60 to 90 days later, I keep hearing the water run for some reason. Anyway, so 60 or 90 days later, when that rejection alert comes, you know, it goes straight to their email so they can see, oh, you was doing what you had to do. Because that rejection is going to go to them. They're going to see you applied to a job and they rejected you. It was not like you, you was afraid to get a job. It was not like you wasn't doing anything to get a job. You got freaking rejected. Okay. And like when he see that, it's like, oh, shut up! All right. So like, to anybody who's got like an abusive parent like that, who keeps telling them, get a job, stop being lazy, or whatever, or just saying something that's just mad hurtful, and they don't even understand like none of it, like how things work nowadays. Just do that. All right. Use their email address instead of yours. When you fill out the application, apply to anywhere. Apply to a place you never applied to before, if that's even possible, because I know by now you have probably applied to every place you can think of looking for a job, because trust me, I know it's going to be hard to find a place you haven't applied to, but you might just want to like, um, I don't know, think hardly, like what place haven't you sent an application to, hoping that they might hire you. It might be a little hard to find it, but it might be downright impossible, but somehow you just have to do it if you want them to get to shut up. Alright, and so like, just look at every place you don't apply to already, and like, try to find one you haven't, and then like, fill out application there, do as best as you can, and stuff like that. Also, like, show your parents your resume, like, what your resume looks like, okay? Do that as well, and, like, let them see that you are not just lazy around, you're actually doing something to try to find work, because no kid just wants to stay in their parents' good grace, unless you're just one of those people who don't want to leave.